Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question um, number 16 from the GCE paper 2 from Edexcel. This is the, the um, code 9MA02. Now, this is a paper which appears in the UK. It's not the international A-level paper, but um, I'm you know, basically teaching the international A-level syllabus, which is very similar. So sometimes I choose a question from these papers in order to uh, find questions, especially newer type of questions, which which didn't appear, uh, you know, in the old syllabus. So this is a type of question which is new, um, which is about proof, which didn't appear before the, uh, you know, the new syllabus um, of international A-level, nor, nor did it appear in the old GCE syllabus either. So this is a new kind of topic in A-level, which I'm taking some examples here from the British um, curriculum so that I can give my students some more practice of this type of question. So here we're told to use algebra to prove that the square of any natural number is either a multiple of three or one more than a multiple of three. So we've got to take n and square it where n is a natural number okay now how can i prove that something is a multiple of three or one more than a multiple of three so i have to be able to express my answers in terms of multiples of three now a lot of people say okay let's choose all the odd numbers and all the even numbers so they'll say let's n, n equals 2k and let n equals for example 2k plus one this is all the even numbers and all the odd numbers Whatever different values of k you choose, if you if you make k in, as a as an integer, okay, or a natural number, that will give you basically all the different values of um, every. That will be when you put when you put um, k into here, you're going to get an even number. When you put k into here, you're going to get an odd number. All right, no, no matter what values you choose for k, you will end up getting every single number that exists, every single natural number that exists. Okay, and then when you put it into here. The problem with that is, when you put these into here, you're not able to bring out things in terms of multiples of three. When I square 2k, I'm going to get 4k squared. When I square 2k plus 1, I have things in terms of 4k squared and 2k squared. I'll be able to tell whether they're multiples of two or express them in terms of multiples of two, but not multiples of three. So it's no good me using 2k and 2k plus 1. I have to do something which will end up giving me multiples of three so that I can judge whether you know my expression is going to be multiples of three or one more or one less whatever than multiples of three so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say let n equals 3k now that's a multiple of three but then that only includes the numbers like for example um three and six and nine and twelve it doesn't include anything in between them all right um, if I choose, for example, now when n equals 3k plus 1, that's one more than a multiple of 3. That would include, for example, 4 and 7 and 10 and 13. And if I choose, for example, n equals 3k minus 1, that's one less than a multiple of 3. So I'll have 2 and 5 and 8 and 11. I will then have all the numbers. Okay, I'll have all the numbers when k equals 0, for example. I'll end up with zero, and then this will be zero plus one, that will be one, and zero minus one will be minus one. You can include those, no problem. But, you know, in the end, we won't need these, but it will generate all of these numbers here. It will generate all of these numbers here. Okay, so different values of k will generate every single number that exists from one till infinity. All the natural numbers will be generated when I uh, choose n as 3k, 3k plus 1, 3k minus 1. So these are the multiples of 3, 1 more than multiple of 3, 1 less than multiple of 3. I could also say multiples of 3, 1 more than the multiple of 3, and 2 more than the multiple of 3. Okay, 2, two more than the multiple of 3 is the same as 1 less than the multiple of 3. Right? So that will, then they will generate the same numbers. I'm going to keep it like this because it makes life a bit simpler. So what I'm going to say, let's consider the case when n equals 3k. When you put that into the expression, you're going to get 3k all squared which is going to give you 9k squared, which is like 3 times 3k squared. Okay, so we can say that this is, this is therefore a multiple of 3. This is a multiple of 3. 
Okay, it's three times something. It's a multiple of three. Three times an integer. This is an integer. Okay, and when n equals 3k plus 1, I end up with 3k plus 1 all squared. If I expand that, I'm going to get 9k squared plus, you multiply those together and double it, that's 6k, and then plus 1. Okay, so I can see that if I take out 3 as common from these two terms, I have 3 times 3k squared plus um, 2k plus 1. So this is like... <clears throat> This is like 3 multiplied by an integer, then plus 1. So you can say this is 1 more than a multiple of 3. So this is definitely 1 more than a multiple of 3. 3 times an integer plus 1, more, 1 more than a multiple okay, of 3. All right. So we have proved that every number which is a multiple of 3, when you square it, gives you a multiple of 3. Every number which is 1 more than a multiple of 3, when you square it, you get a number which is 1 more than a multiple of 3. And let's see what you have when you get every number which is 1 less than a multiple of 3. So you have 3k minus 1 all squared. Now that's going to give you 9k squared minus 6k, but then plus 1 again. All right, so that was going to give us something very similar, 3 times 3k squared minus 2k, but plus 1. So again, we have one more. This is one more than a multiple of 3. Okay, so we end up with all three cases, which covers every single case that can exist ends up giving us an expression which is either a multiple of 3, 3 times something, or 3 times something plus 1, 3 times an integer plus 1, so it's one more than multiple of 3 for both of these cases. Right, so we can we can show therefore, you can say, so therefore we can, we can say that, um, we can say that the square of any natural number, therefore we have shown, or all possible natural numbers n that n squared is either a multiple of 3 or one more than a multiple of 3. One more than, so you have to write a statement to conclude a multiple of three. Okay, so that's the answer for number 16. That's how you show it. You show all the possible cases. And we have to show things in terms of what will give us um, something in the form that we're looking for. So we're looking for things in terms of multiples of three. So using 2k and 2k plus one, although it covers every single number that exists, it won't give us an expression that we can express in terms of multiples of three. So we won't be able to use that to prove anything. So we have to be able to prove what we want to prove. We'll have to think, think, think of things in terms of multiples of three. So we choose 3k, 3k plus one, 3k minus one to cover all the possible numbers that you can possibly have. All the natural numbers will be covered with those three cases. And we've shown in every case we're going to get a multiple of three or one more, or one more than a multiple of three in every case. Okay, so there we have the answer to that question. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will be appearing in this region over here. Other questions from the topic of proofs from P2 can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and watch the video in this uh, that will show up over here the link for that video will take you to a video that shows me it shows you how to use my channel in an efficient manner and find what you need thank you for watching and see you soon